Hey there folks, back at you with another video. Working on a Case 1845C skid steer with the almighty 4BT Cummins in there. Oh, good. There you go. So yeah, here we go. Uh, today we're gonna be working on um, cylinders. Already got a tilt cylinders done. I've got the lift cylinder on the other side done, and uh, I'm gonna show you um, how I do it. So anyway, I thought that would make for a good video. So here we go. Please like and subscribe, it helps the channel out a lot and don't cost nothing. Let's get past the intro, let's get into this. All right, so <clears throat> I got the hydraulic hoses already disconnected. Uh, make sure you mark the one that goes to the top. I'll put a paint marker on there on the line and on the hose so I know which hose goes where. Now next thing we got to do, uh, here, here comes a critical part. I use a floor jack. I've got a jack stand there for security. Got to make sure that when you, uh, you got to make sure that this pin can come through the hole here of the grade because otherwise you can never get the cylinder out. So I set it about the right height where I want to have it, put the jack stand under there, then I grab the floor jack and jack it up to the right height. So that way it can go, you know, basically by millimeters. So there you go. Do that first. And then second, uh, disconnect the lines. Now we're gonna get started on, on that 916 over there. That is a locking, uh, locking bolt. I'm going to take that bolt out and then we're going to run our punch, punch through here and then we're going to pop that pin out and go toward that way and we're going to need a snap ring here that needs to come off and then we can push this pin that way uh, and like I said make sure you clear through the hole here of one of the uh, one of the holes of the side panel there so anyway I'm going to take the cylinder off and then we're going to put her on the bench and uh, we'll go from there. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so we got the cylinder out. Set it in the vise. Got a block of wood here. First things first, we got to take this uh, screw out. Hang in there with me, guys. There you go. Now, so now this is out. This is the tool we're going to use. Got to set that in the holes here. Bear with me. There we go. I'm going to use my uh, my ratchet. I'm going to uh, break her loose and uh, unscrew it. Um, you can buy these off of eBay, I don't know, for like 20 bucks. And when you work on this stuff, it's just very well worth it. Just get it, and uh, it will save you a lot of headaches. So here we go. Gonna break it loose with this tool, and then uh, we'll be right back. All right. Had to hit it with an air hammer. Um, we'll clean that up when, uh, when we get this thing off. Um, I had to break it loose first, but uh, once you break it loose, then you can switch over to this. Um, I probably had like a quarter turn out of it, and then I switched over to the tool because it was very, very tight. And I guarantee you, because I already had the other one open, I want to bet it's still original. So, because um, a lot of times you, you don't see the screw in there uh, because it's very hard to line them back up. Uh, because there's it takes a lot of tension to do that so and if the screw there's still if the screw's still in there that tells you a lot of times it's uh it's going to be tight and it's original so 
like I said, I pound it loose with uh, with an air hammer to get it to move. Like I said, about a quarter turn, then I switch over to my tool, and I got it to move now. So here we go. I'm gonna take it completely off, and I'll be right back. All right, we got her pretty loose now. So once you get to this point, you gotta watch out for uh, for a gusher. I got the catch can there. Okay, so we're gonna let this run out for a little bit, <coughs> and then we're gonna put this shaft into the vise, and then uh, I'll bring you guys back. All right, so we got this back in the vise. No need to uh, take this nut off. Uh, while we got it here, might as well do the, the O-rings. Uh, this one here don't look too horrific. Uh, the one on the other cylinder, um, this was like that. So, um, that was the leaky one. But you don't know until you get in there, so and while we're here, might as well just get it done. So, here we go. I'm just using a pick. So you got a, a flat skinny one here and then you got an o-ring underneath it it doesn't want to come out right now and then you got this one right here which Okay, then we're using uh, an inch and an eighth. Cover your ears, here we go. It says no, we ain't gonna have it. We're gonna to have to do it by hand. Golly, she's tight. This one. They used Loctite, so I'm gonna get that cleaned off, and then when we start assembling it, we'll put some new Loctite back on there, so. And this one slips right off. That's how it looks like. Slide this off right here. Now, on the tilt cylinders, there's only one extra uh, um, um, gasket or uh, thing in there. It's one of these. But with the lift cylinder, there's another one in there. So, I don't know if you can tell on the camera. So there is one right there. And then you got one right there. And then you got the outer seal. 
So. All right. Got this all cleaned up now. I just used the flapper disc. So, and then I used the file right here to straighten that back out, as you can tell. So, I'm gonna put it in the vise. Seal puller right here for this outer one. I'm going to use two picks, a small one and a big one. Watch out, don't spray oil in your face. That's why I put my hand on it. So there you go, there's the old one. Take that other one out. That goes face down like that. So, okay. Let's get you back to the other bench. And then uh, we'll be right back. All right. Back at the other one here. So now we're gonna peel these seals off. This is just an O-ring. Make sure you keep this here close by so because in your kit, it come, uh, it'll come with different sizes, so you want to make sure you get the, the right one on there. There we go. We'll clean this off a little bit with a rag. So we need uh, one of these. See, this the whole kit. I'm gonna need this one right here. And then we gotta check and see because you get two, whoop, two orange ones. So we'll grab the old one. Let's see, we need the smaller out of the two, so we don't need the big one. You get several O-rings. Lay that off to the side here real quick. So you get several O-rings to go with it. So just match up the O-ring. I'm gonna need this one right here. And then you get another O-ring, which is the small one. So we're not gonna need the big one. Then you got your little, your little seal here, uh, the bigger one that goes on the outside, and the wiper, and then this one right here. So here we go. Let's start putting this stuff together. <clears throat> I'm using this tool right here. Um, it's the only way to get them in. Oh, got this done the wrong way. Curl it around like that. That's the only way you can get them in. I'll dip them in the hydraulic oil here. Let's set this into place right there. Pop 
she goes. Look. And make sure you got it facing the right way. So the what the opening part needs to be facing down. Same thing with this right here. You see the groove in there that needs to be facing down. So it needs to come in like that. The flat part needs to be facing outward. Dip it in the oil a little bit. This can be a little bit of a of a tricky one because it's very flexy. You gotta force the one side into the groove first. There you go. And then you just gotta feed it around. See? You gotta feed it around. You gotta guide it around with two fingers there. And then there's that. And then we need the outer one. I'll put a little bit of oil on there. Not on the bottom side, just on the on this side right here. Set that in place. Get yourself a, a seal driver. So now we need to do the outside here. Grab a little bit of oil here, put it on the, on the shaft. Let's put the slide. There is that. There we go. So, orange one first. Push it forward. Then we grab the O ring. The bigger of the two. And we do the same thing, dip it in a little bit of oil. And there's that. I'll slide this out of the way. There you go. And then. Uh, Clean this off. Shit. I don't recommend dropping it on the ground. <laughs> what you get with oily fingers, I guess. sure that groove is clean. Oh, I'm sorry. There you go. slide that on and then that big flat one see we'll slide that onto the shaft and put this in place right here like that I'll go and be right back we're going to clean this off real quick and I'll be right back all right we're at a little bit of Lock tight. You'll need a great big bunch. Just a little. There you go. Run that in with the 
impact, cover the ears, here we go. Flat one on there. And this could be pretty tough. And push it around a little bit, make sure it sits nice and square. There we go. I'll grab this one right here, that's the big one. Dip it in a, a little bit of oil. And there's that. So that's the old rings that's done now. So now we're going to put it back together. So I'll be right back. I need to put the tube in the device and then uh, we'll slide it all back together. So here we go. I'll be right back. All right. such thing as too much lubrication. Alright. What I like to do is weld it around, twist it a little bit. And there she goes. There you have it. Now you just tighten it up, back, back up again with this tool as tight as you can. Uh, I'll use my 24 inch um, ratchet to tighten it up. So here we go. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's how you re, uh, reseal a cylinder. So, all right guys, uh, please like and subscribe. Oh wait, uh, there's more to come on that skit steer. So, I got a pretty long list of things that needs to be done to it or checked and whatnot, so I'm gonna take you guys along. So make sure you like and subscribe. Helps your channel out a lot and don't cost nothing. And uh, we're gonna catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.